Your patients may be asking about FDA's recent decision to approve the marketing of certain silicone gel-filled breast implants. They may want to know more about the safety of these devices, and they may need guidance in deciding whether or not to have them. Here's some information you can use. The approved implants are made by two companies, Allergan and Mentor. They're approved for breast reconstruction in women of all ages and for breast augmentation in women 22 and older. Of course, the saline-filled implants have been available for a number of years, but the silicone gel-filled ones have not been available for widespread use for a long time. And in fact, FDA turned down several applications to market these in the past. And so the question is, what's different now? Well, now there's enough information about the benefits and risks so that a woman can make an informed decision about whether to have the implants and what to expect if she does get them. So the woman needs information, but the question is how can we be sure she's going to get it? Well, there's a patient brochure that physicians are expected to give women who are thinking about having these implants. The brochure lays out in some detail the benefits and complications that can occur. Complications like hardening of the tissue around the implant, breast pain, and changes in nipple sensation. One of the most important things the brochure stresses is that these implants are not lifetime devices. A woman who receives the implants will probably need additional breast surgery at least once. The brochure also informs women that the implant can rupture without causing symptoms, a so-called silent rupture, and that she'll need periodic MRI exams to detect these ruptures. Now, FDA is going to require that the companies continue to study the safety of these implants even after they're marketed. That's right. The companies will have to continue to study these implants for about 10 more years. Each company will study about 40,000 women, and this can give more information about possible rare adverse effects. Now, what about the issue of whether these implants can cause systemic effects, like uh, increasing the risk of neurological disorders or connective tissue disease or cancer? Well, a report by the Institute of Medicine several years ago concluded that there's no convincing evidence that women with implants are at greater risk for these kinds of conditions, and other studies have borne that out. But this question will continue to be addressed in the long-term studies that will be conducted by the companies. You and your patients can get more information on the newly approved breast implants by going to our website. Safety TV is brought to you by safetyissues.com. Life has no reset button. Think safety.